probably tell from the bulk of our music, we have a deep, deep love for history. Because good history is good, you see. Not bad history is bad, David. That, that is the corollary, yes. I just want to make that clear. <laughs> One is true, the therefore the other. Ergo, so, yes. Well, and there's an awful lot of unfortunate history that's taught in American, in American schools today. Well, like what? Oh, no, there is, there Don't is. Don't mind me, I just want an example. Well, okay, okay. Um, I'll give you, okay. This wacky notion, this wacky, crazy idea that we actually won the War of 1812. Yes! <laughs> no, no. They pretty much trounced us from north to south. If we had won, see, Canada is still Canada. Had we won, Canada would be 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. So can I put this here? <laughs> but they are not 51, 52, 53, 54, and we cannot all therefore see Russia from here. We, uh... <laughs> No, no, you see, you see, they, they pretty much trounced us. They burned our capital city to the ground. They blockaded our navy. They won the vast majority of engagements. There this were a few so. that we won. There was, of course, one big battle that we won. Yes! Yes. Sadly, it was after the war was over. <laughs> the element of surprise. Very surprising indeed. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's where we won them. Yes. <laughs> we're all drinking a toast to the peace. And here come the crazy Americans. Why are you attacking us? We're done. Anyway. But Americans love a winner, so of course we sing about that battle, and of course when the song was written back in the 1950s, the songwriter actually moved the date of the battle so that it fell within the confines of the of agreed upon war. Shame on you, Jimmy Driftwood. Okay, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, in this case, it's written by the songwriters, I think. Anyway, but, uh, so, but, but Americans, you know, we love a winner, so we, you know, we made the guy, the, pre the, the man who led the battle, we made him president of the United States, we put his face in the $20 bill. Uh, extra credit if anyone can name this man. Excellent. You've seen a twenty dollar bill? Oh. You're not a musician. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't know. <laughs> I saw one at a distance. Anyway, the, the uh, so with all due apologies to Jimmy Driftwood, Johnny Horton, the Andrew sisters, and Gene Krupa, and Tchaikovsky, we offer you now our version of the Battle of New Orleans. I can't help but notice this lovely dance floor we're all sitting on, so stop sitting on it and start dancing on it. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> All right.